tablecloth is back, you guys. No more oopsies on it. I have quite some fun games I'm gonna talk about today in this video. Like, fun games for the Switch that I'm currently playing and one that I'm currently starting to get obsessed with. It's gonna be exciting. But first of all, I'm gonna talk about a bit of an older game, not new. But I have rediscovered it, gone back to it, and I love it even more now than I ever did and I didn't think that would be possible because I already originally loved it from the start. That is a 2018 game that I played on the PC. Can you guess which one? I bet you saw it on the thumbnail. <laughs> I have been playing Two Point Hospital again and I've been drawn in and hooked all over again. Now trying to collect all the stars on every single hospital and I'm having so much fun doing it. Now Two Point Hospital is a business simulator that came out for the PC in 2018. That is also when I started playing it, when it was released. <laughs> but it now also is having console versions out for the PS4, Xbox One and the Nintendo Switch. It is a game by Two Point Studios, some of the original guys behind Theme Hospital, if you maybe remember that game, really old PC game. I bet we all grew up with that game, alongside with The Sims. Now what you do in the game is that you are in charge of managing several hospitals and maintaining them to have business run smoothly. You build rooms like GP's office, general diagnosis, pharmacies, staff rooms, toilets, and a whole bunch of different treatment rooms for your patients and their illnesses. You have to try and satisfy everyone's needs, such as hunger and thirst, make sure they are entertained as well, and that the hospital is clean and good looking at all times. And you even have to, in some levels, make sure that the temperature is correct. Not too cold, not too hot, so that everyone is happy. And every single hospital has a mission list on the side where you have objectives that you need to progress in or complete in order for you to get your hospital to get to being a one-star hospital, two-star hospital and three-star hospital. And then you will eventually unlock more and more hospitals. Some levels has fun extra missions like vaccinating people to reduce a pandemic. Does that sound familiar? And in one of the DLC levels, you have to spot alien infiltrators, which is a favorite of mine. <laughs> this game is funny and addicting. And I mean, once you have really gotten into this game, it's sort of unputdownable because it's so satisfying. Now I bought the jumbo pack, which is the new DLC things that dropped on the eShop. So yeah, recently bought that. And that includes DLCs such as Off the Grid, and Close Encounters. Now the original base game on the Switch that has already all the DLCs called Pebberly Island, Bigfoot and some extra packs, I don't know. Now Bigfoot DLC is a winter level DLC where temperature is playing a big role in every single hospital. Pebberly Island is more like a tropical uh, setting. I haven't played that too much. But Off the Grid, that has 35 new illnesses and nine of those illnesses are visual. Now, in Close Encounters, you have 34 new illnesses and 11 of those are visual. The dog illness is just too cute. <laughs> we currently play this game on my Discord server, which is the server that you should join. Link in description. But like, in Two Point Hospital, Tiny Hats has over 400 hours in this game. On the PC, though. So I wanted to recommend this game for everyone. If you're into simulating things, I guess. I think it is the best business simulator that I have ever played. Highly recommend. Now I'm going to talk about Kingdoms of Amalur. The game that I am so impressed with currently. But I need to open two packages first, sent to my PO box for the channel. First package is from Miguel and I know what this is. Oi. <laughs> he sent to me a much more mint condition version of my childhood games guidebook Which is everything. This is where everything started. The first game that I played it. Oh my god, this is mint condition It's like it's brand new. Jesus, it's in much better condition than the one that I have I mean, this is just punching me straight in the nostalgia Thank you so much. I'm gonna read it and enjoy it. Look how good it looks much better condition than mine. Thank you so much, Miguel. And now the other package, it's quite big. That's what she said. Mm. 
Wow, guys, this was quite a package. Let's start off with a jar of candy. It even says Isha. Nintendo Switch Playstand. Ta-da! I love it. I'm actually gonna have this as my Switch stand from now on in the living room or in the bedroom. So I'm just like putting it there when I'm not using it, which is never because I always use it. <gasps> cute! This is a Nintendo DS mug. So cute. Thank you so much. I will use this a lot. The Art of Super Mario Odyssey. Oh my god. Whoa. This is legit nice. Whoa. If you are a fan of Super Mario Odyssey in any way, shape or form, I can already recommend this art book. Really huge pictures. Very in-depth. Thank you. I'm a big fan of your channel. You have a very real style to your videos. Nothing is done for show. You just talk passionately about what you love and your smile and enthusiastic voice is just infectious. Keep doing what you're doing. Don't ever lose passion for it. It clearly rubs off on a lot of people, myself included. You rock from Chris Dove. Thank you so much, Chris Dove. Now to the game that I'm currently very impressed with. And that is Kingdoms of Amalur Re-Reckoning. Originally called only Reckoning, but it is remastered, so it's called Re-Reckoning. This is a 2012 game, and I have never played it. I may have heard the name, actually, but I've never played it. Never really seen this game. This game has gone straight past me for some reason, but it is actually everything that I'm looking for in a game of this genre. I'm so shocked that I have not played this game before now. So Kingdoms of Amalur is to me a new game, but it isn't a new game. It is a 3D RPG high fantasy adventure game with real-time hack and slashy action combat that very much tries to be like an Elder Scrolls game, in my opinion. And by that I mean it has sneaking, it has pickpocketing, stealing, bribing guards, alchemy, blacksmithing, and a bunch of different options for combat such as using daggers, bows, long swords, hammers, staffs, or just magic. And it has fully voiced NPCs that will talk about whatever you choose from their dialogue lists. Reminds me of a dark elf who left me half naked and tied to a bar guest once. Now those were the days. To me, this game is very similar to an Elder Scrolls game so far. But, dear god, if you decide to pick this game up, the first thing you need to do in Kingdoms of Amalur is go into the settings and change some of the camera options. The game starts off with super weird camera controls. Just weird. It's too close up to the character. You actually have to manually, in the options, change camera distance to your character, height of the camera, and all of that. I'm gonna have on the screen right now my options. And if you ever trusted me, just copy my options right now to your game, and it's gonna feel much better. I did this on a neighbor Stefan's game yesterday because he was like, the camera doesn't feel right. And I'm like, yeah, I know, right? You gotta change it to this. So I changed his settings. But you can also just, you know, find what works for you. But it is essential. Uh, that is gonna be a make or break first impression for you, I'm sure. But anyways, never mind that. Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning is an action RPG originally released in 2012, same year as actually Dragon's Dogma. And Dragon's Dogma was also like an excellent RPG. Also did a review of that. And the development crew of this game actually consisted of some people that worked on the Elder Scrolls Oblivion. And that explains so many things to me. I mean, in the beginning of the game, when I started looting corpses, I saw <laughs> lockpicks and you can also like find books that you can read or take so Elder scrolls -y. And the lead designer of Elder Scrolls Oblivion worked on this game. Explains everything, why this feels so Elder scrolls -y. The music in this game is wow. And by that I mean it's wow, but also... <laughs> this is a terrible explanation. But also it reminds me of World of Warcraft music. They did not save any money on the music budget in this game, is what I'm feeling. The story is great so far and I'm still early into the game. 
And I can already tell that the combat is super satisfying and complex. You can have one primary weapon and one secondary weapon and they can be anything and there are so many weapons in this game. Right now I am loving longbows and chakrams. The rings that you hold and you throw them like a boomerang. Love it. Combat is highly customizable because you can also use spells and you can customize your character to be whatever you want and if you change your mind you can go in that direction. There is fast traveling on a satisfying map. You can fast travel to any place that you have previously been. This game is impressing me and I want to hear your opinions on this game too because I just found this game almost by accident. It takes some time for me to get invested or interested in a game, I guess. But this one, I was kind of curious about it. But when I started playing it, I was like, holy shit, this is one I'm gonna pay attention to. This is one I wanna max out everything in. This is the perfect game to play while we are waiting for the next Elder Scrolls, which is gonna be in the next, I don't know, 20 years at this point, maybe. They take their sweet time. So this is gonna fill your Elder Scrolls fix, basically. Now I hope you wanna take my recommendations into consideration, because both of these games that I've talked about in this video are really good, and I can stand by them 100%. Really good. Super good. It's like, I feel like right now I am in the mood and I am craving a RPG like this. High fantasy, I wanna say old school RPG, but Elder Scrolls vibes fantasy RPG. So guys, thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you wanna follow my Twitter and Instagram. Like and subscribe. And thank you so much for the packages, Miguel and Chris. And I will see you later. I joined the Fate Weavers, hoping to find a way to conquer destiny itself. Do you really think I'm able to part with anything, much less one of my finest mixtures?